Hi there everyone, it's Sarah here and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to be making a bamboo skewered little book with a piano hinge uh, binding. So this little book is four inches by four inches um, and so fun to make and you can decorate your pages, put pockets in and use it for anything you fancy. This would actually be good for a little photograph album, um, a little memory book, you know, just whatever, yeah, whatever you fancy. It's quite, um, you know, you can adapt it for anything. So here's a little book that I've made. Just put some mulberry flowers on it and a little Tim Holtz pen nib. Um, so let's get cracking and uh, I'll show you what you're going to need. Um, you're going to need some twine for the binding. Now I've just used some of the Tim Holtz paper string that I bought yesterday um, when I was teaching this class at Stampers Grove in Edinburgh. So you need a length of twine. You're going to need five bamboo skewers. You're going to need five sheets of A4 paper. And you're going to need a scoreboard and a paper trimmer. So let's get started with this. Um, pop that there. I'll just get my paper trimmer down. So what you want to do is take your papers and you want to pop it into your trimmer and put it at the four inch mark. and then cut it four inches and you want to do that for all your pieces of paper. Now you'll get two sheets, two pieces of paper out of the one sheet and that's all the waste you're going to have but you can keep this and put it on uh, cards or stripes or what have you so you don't need to, to waste it all. Let me just move this back around. Okay so I'm going to speed up and get my card stock cut to four inches this way first and then we're going to put it all in and turn it around the other way and cut it at eight inches. Okay so that's our um, five sheets of paper cut at four inches and that'll give us ten sheets. So what you want to do now is we need to cut it lengthways. So for each individual piece we we'll want to put it back in and cut at eight. Okay, so that's our um, paper trimming finished. So now we're left with 10 pieces of cardstock that are um, 8 inches by 4 inches. And we've got all our little strips left over at the side here that we can use for later. I'm going to keep a hold of those. And then we've also got little pieces of cardstock that are left over that we didn't use and these will be great as mats for cards so don't throw these away and keep these. Oops, sorry I'm just batting the camera there. Now our next step is to take your scoreboard and I use the little Martha Stewart scoreboard, I quite like this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to do our scoring next. So I find that when you're making this book it's easier if you use the production line method with it um, and you know, do all your cutting first, then all your scoring, then all your folding, etc, etc. So what you're going to do is you're going to put this into your scoreboard and score it at four. Now that's going to be the centre line. But what we also want to do is score it at 
a quarter inch either side of that mark. So you're going to go ahead and score it at three and three quarters, four and four and one quarter. And I'll try and put the measurements on the screen kind of up here somewhere so that you can catch that. So you're going to do that for every single one that you have. Okay, so I'll just go through that again. So it's score it at your four inch mark, then take it to three, a quarter inch to the left and a quarter inch to the right. So that's three and three quarters, four and four and a quarter. Now that we've um, scored all our pieces of cardstock, what we need to do now is fold them all on the centre score line. So at the four inch mark, just fold that over and give it a little crease. So we're going to do them all like that. And it's just a case of getting all your folding done first because what we're going to be doing next is scoring along the top edge so that we can mark out our cutting points for to start the actual part of the binding. Now if you don't have a scoreboard um, you can just mark it with uh, a ruler and a little um, and a pen and then just score that way. So the next step that we're going to do is we're going to put the card, the folded card, on the crease side up to the top of your um, scoreboard here. And what we're going to do is we're going to mark it at every quarter of an inch, so sorry half an inch. So mark it at half an inch, one inch, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, and that's it. Now what that actually does is it's putting a little notch along the top there, if you can see that. And what we're going to be doing is once we've marked them all, is actually take our scissors and cut, um, if I can get this in close enough. We've got our mark there, so we're going to cut it up to the score line all the way along. Okay, so what you then get is um, half inch nicks all the way along. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to speed this process up because it's kind of lengthy um, and then we'll go through the next stage. So. So the next step is to take our 10 pieces of cardstock, all folded, scored and cut. Together. The next step we need to do is score along the, you know how we scored along the 4 inch mark and we we also made a score line at 3 and 3 quarters and 4 and a quarter. Well we're going to have to score those lines now. Just so that we get our score lines done and just make sure that you give it a good crease um, and we're going to have little signatures kind of like this. Um, so that's the next step so I'll speed on and do this.
Okay then, so we've got all our little signatures all done and folded. And the next step is to do the push and pull if you like. So what we're going to do is we're going to push down that first one like so and just pinch it and hold on to it and then pop down your next one and pinch it and hold on to it pop down the next one pop down the next one and if the other one goes down just put your finger in underneath and pop it back up so that's the next step that we're going to do we are going to create our piano hinge if you like all right so we do that to them all so I'll just do another couple so that you can get the the gist of it all right so you take your signature pop the first one down if you can see that just pop that down and pinch it and then pop your next one down and pinch it your next one down and pinch it and your next one down and pinch it and then just put it down onto your mat and give it a wee score on both sides and do that for them all so I'll do another one so you can do these really quickly once you get the hang of it so it's just down and pinch down and pinch down and pinch down and pinch and leave that one up and then score them all there we go I'll speed this process up now So that's our 10 signatures done and what I'll do is let me just sort these out okay so that's what you'll be left with once you've done them all you'll have all your little notches go in the same way for all 10 sheets all right uh, the next step that we want to do is we want to take them each individual one and get your scissors and you want to just take the corners off your little tabs so you're just taking a triangle off all right so we want to do that with all of them There we go. So what you want to do is just get all your little bits and put them in the bin. And what you'll be left with now is all your cardstock going the same way and it now has the little teeth cut into it. Okay, so we've got our signatures and they're all going the same way. What we want to do next is you want to alternate them. So you take your first one in your hand, take the next one and flip it over so that your teeth are going the wrong way then skip the next one flip the next one skip the next one flip the next one skip the next one flip this next one round skip that and flip it okay so now we're left with this kind of effect all right um, and just place them to the side and you want to take your first two signatures okay and what you want to do is push them together like that and take your bamboo skewer and just slide it up the middle now you'll know you've caught everything if you fold that up and you can see the stick going right the way through that side and the same on this side okay so that's your first signature done now what you want to do is it kind of flaps about a bit like this you just want to push the sides down and kind of work that flat to give you this effect 
all right and then just pop that to the side and do the next one so you, again you take two signatures and slot them together get your bamboo skewer and just slide that up the middle then you want to turn it round and just crease that okay and then take another two slot them together another bamboo stick slide it straight up the middle turn it over and just give it a, a little burnish and again next two slot together slide up the middle turn it over and you'll see that it's I'll give you this kind of angle turn it over and then just press them there you go and the last one push them together and slide your stick up which gives you this and then just press it press either side down around that bamboo stick okay so now we've got all our signatures done on our bamboo stick and that's the binding and that's the book almost complete so what I tend to do is I tend to get this and I give it a little tap and I'll push it down a little bit so that um, all these bits are even and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some serrated edge scissors so these are just the Tim Holtz ones and I'm going to cut these you know to be the, an equal length as the same as this side here so that's about right there and be careful doing this because they can be quite tough and they ping all over the place um, and keep your little bamboo stick um, cuttings because we can use these um, on doing us you can use them to make a smaller book now just be careful what you're left with here because sometimes the bamboo can split like I've got a split there just pull that off um, and what you can do is you can take um, a sand in tool and just give that a nice little um, file down okay next step is we take our twine and this is the paper twine from Tim Holtz how on earth I managed to get a knot in it I'll not know there we go right so our next step is to do a bit like carpet weaving on each side so take a little length and just hold it in your finger there now the, the key to this is not to hold it too tightly because if you hold it too tightly you're going to pull these together and you're not going to get be able to weave so give it some room and then just go over and under in each one and we're going to repeat this process a few times so they just come up over the top, down and up, down and up and down. So just keep doing it. I often find that using my finger on the top helps just to move it um, along a little bit and hold on to the, the threads to make sure that they don't come off as you're winding and weaving. Um, now I'm going to make this one my last turn okay so I'm just moving that down if I can hold that up so that you can see that it's not wanting to focus hang on there you go so you can see the, the, the binding there right so we've ended up coming back at this this edge along here so I'm just going to tie this in a double knot gently because if you pull it too tight it's going to pull all your bamboo skewers together and they're going to end up um, going tight and your book's going to be you know all pulled in at the edges 
So what we want to do is just turn this round and do the same again for this side. Now you'll see that the ties for this are on this side. So if you want the ties to be on the same side, then you need to start your string off at the same side, if you know what I mean. So we'll just hold on to that one and we'll start weaving. It can be a little bit fiddly, but once you get going, it's okay. It does help to hold, use these fingers here to hold on to it and pull, pull it in to allow you to maneuver. Okay, so I'm going to tie this one off. Now if you want to leave your tassels longer at the edge, you can do and you can tie things on them, like charms and things. Um, but I'm just going to keep these ones short. And that's basically your little book. Um, and that's the binding. Now the next step to secure all this is to pop some glue, just a clear glue. Um, on the edges. Um, if you hold on, I'll just get my glue. It's up here. So I'm just using this Cosmic Shimmer glue. Um, it's a specialist acrylic glue. It dries quickly. Um, now what you want to do, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop glue here, glue here, turn it over and pop glue on the underside and that'll dry clear and it'll dry the glue onto the sticks and they won't go anywhere. So just pop some glue on there. You don't need to have an awful lot. Um, just enough for it to hold. And that's basically your little... Um, piano hinge book. Um, so just leave that to dry. Now you can leave it just on its end like that and then it will dry in nicely. Um, and you can have this book either way. You can have it open in this way or you can have it this way and have it going up and down the way. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm just going to show you the ones that I made at class. Uh, the ones I made for the class yesterday. So bear with me a little second, I'll pop that to the side to dry. So I made several. I made this little black one and this is the same size as the craft one that I've just made and it's four by four. Um, and again, you can decorate all the... One thing that I, tip that I would give you is if you want to decorate your pages and mat your pages, do it before you actually bind it all together. Um, and then, you know, it's, it's, it's good to go after that. So that was a little black four by four. I also made this one and this was in pink and yellow and like a, a raspberry sorbet type color range, this one. Um, this is a, um, a six by six book and you use um, 10 pieces of, 6 by 12 cardstock um, and you just, it's the same method as that, you would score it at 6 and then a quarter inch either side of the 6 mark so it would be 5 and 3 quarters, 6 and 6 and a quarter um, and I just put on a little bit, I've been doing a little bit of stenciling and um, distress inks and did a little background um, and these are Tim Holtz uh, words as well. So that was that one um, and that's the binding so you can see all the different colours that I'd used and then I did this one here which is in blues in blue tones and green tones um, and that's the binding and it's this one is Get Lost in a Good Book and that's a clearly resorted stamp and die set 
uh, for the, the bookworm and I just used a circle die and some stitched square die borders. Um, and for this one I used a green cover for the front and back and then we move it into like a, a turquoise colour for two pages and then a turquoise colour page two pages at the, the either side and then we've got four blue in the middle. So you can mix up the combinations that you do um, and create different books. Um, just remember to trim off your pointy bits on your um, bamboo skewers. You don't have to have them this long. You can trim them down once your glue's dried, you know, further down. Um, so there you have it. Little books and so much fun to make and you can custom uh, make them for, for any, any occasion. So I'm going to head off now. One thing I will say is from start to finish, before I've edited this video, it's taken me 38 minutes to do everything. So, you know, in under an hour, you can get a basic book. Um, so much fun to try. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, and I'll see you all soon, probably next week, with something else that I'll, I'll be making. So until then, I'll see you later. And bye for now.